the Volkswagen Tiguan R a good car? Think of the Volkswagen Tiguan R performance SUV like you would your favorite fruity punch drink. On the one hand, you've got your sensible pineapple or orange juice foundation in the form of its practical, spacious SUV body. Appetizing, but not especially exciting on its own. On the other hand, however, you've got a shed load of rum, which is always good for spicing things up a bit. Here, that extra kick comes in the form of a high-performance engine that's been lifted straight out of the new Golf R hot hatch, sportier suspension, and some aggressive new styling tweaks. Sounds like it should make for a pretty delicious concoction, right? In any case, it's a similar recipe to what we've seen in the likes of the Cooper Ateca and pricier Audi SQ5. But let's get back to those tweaks. You won't miss the Tiguan R in a crowd, that's for sure. It's not as fun as a Golf R, but it's pretty comfortable. A seven-speed automatic gearbox comes as standard, and the Tiguan R gets four-wheel drive and torque vectoring too. The latter is a system that helps shift power to the wheels where it's needed most to maximize grip in tight corners. They work extremely well together too, just don't expect the Tiguan R to be quite as fun and engaging as the smaller Golf R. It's a big, heavy SUV after all. Still, its steering is nicely weighted and confidence-inspiring, which is handy when you're on your favorite country road. It's also pretty comfortable when you're just driving normally, too. With its adjustable suspension in its softest setting, you don't have to worry about bumps too much. And while those huge 21-inch alloys do make a bit of extra road noise on the motorway, this is far from draining. And while this might be a Tiguan with a significant amount of extra punch, that doesn't come at the expense of safety systems and driver aids. Its pumped-up body kit and standard 21-inch alloy wheels really help it to stand out, and its quad exhaust pipes look particularly mean, too. The cabin has also been given a bit of a makeover. There's cool blue ambient lighting and plenty of R badging. The chunky sports seats are decently supportive and comfortable, but while their blue and gray upholstery looks smart, it feels cheap. The same goes for some of the other interior plastics. That said, this is still a Tiguan underneath it all. So there's loads of passenger space, a big boot, and a clear view out of the front and back, which is always handy around town. The eight inch touchscreen infotainment system is the same as what you'll find in the standard Tiguan, which is no bad thing. Under the bonnet, you'll find a 2.0 liter, 302 horsepower turbocharged petrol engine, which allows it to accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds. It's a fantastically smooth and muscular power plant, but it doesn't sound as exciting as you might hope it would. The Tiguan R certainly doesn't hang about, put your foot down and it just goes. You'll still find adaptive cruise control, autonomous emergency braking, parking sensors, and a lane keep assist included as standard. That performance and tech does come at a price, however. The Tiguan R starts at 45,950 pounds, which makes it more expensive than a Cooper Ateca, but cheaper than the posher seven-seat Mercedes-AMG GLB 35. It's a pretty thirsty beast too. We saw a fuel economy of 25 mil P during our time with the car. There's also the small issue of the Golf R. If you want a practical family car that's faster and even more fun then, then that'd be a very good option to consider.